hello everyone welcome to youtube i hope you guys are doing well and in this video we are going to learn about the user snippets in vs code so without further delay let's get started so you must be wondering what is user snippets so in vs code you would have noticed that when you start typing any code for example when i start typing swit that is a switch statement you see a lots of code hint here so you can just select any of the code hint here and some code get auto imported here this code snippet is called code snippet so basically this is some reusable code uh, which you want to use in your program so but the code snippets which you can import by default they are limited in vs code but you are not limited to use the built-in code snippets so you can just define your own code snippets in vs code so we're gonna see this thing in this video i'll just remove this code from here and in order to define your own user snippets you just need to go at the bottom left corner and select this gear icon called manage and from here you need to go on user snippets and you will see this dialog here in this dialog you need to click on new global snippet file and when you click on this it will prompt you to enter a name so you can just give it any name basically your all the user snippets code will be saved in this file so i'll call this a js snippet js snip i'll call it and you can hit enter so you, when you will hit enter you will see there is some code by default imported so i'm gonna just remove all this code so that you can understand what actually is happening so in this code snippet you just need to define a javascript object or a json object you call so we know json object starts with these curly braces and you just define this curly braces and then here you need to start with the name of your snippet like you can give it anything like whatever you just want to remember it for example i want to create the snippet for the promise code so like when we create a new promise so i'll call it promise snip i'll call it you can give it any name basically and then use colon and define the body of this promise snip and in the promise snip you need to define the four properties the first property we need to define is called scope so scope will take up the strings the strings in the scope will basically be the languages to which languages do you want to apply this code snippet so for now i want to apply this code snippet to the javascript only you can by specifying the comma inside here you can just specify multiple code snippets and the next thing is prefix so prefix is what when you will start typing that code will pop up so prefix we want to give here so when we uh, when i start typing pro so this should give me the promise snippet and the next property here is called a body a body will basically be an array where the first argument to the array will be the code you want to import into your file when you will use this prefix here in your code so i just want to import new and then promise and this promise will here take a uh, you know it takes two parameter called resolve and reject and if you are not aware about the promise just go and watch my last video about the promises and we just import this thing we just want to import this thing when we start typing pro and in this body you can also define the dollar followed by uh, some uh, numeric value like one so this dollar one will mean when we will import this code snippet this is the first index where our cursor will lie basically our cursor will go to this place and at the end i want to end with the terminator and the last object or a property to this promise snip goes the description so you can use the description basically this description is useful for others so like if you want to give like what this snip actually does so it it returns uh, or whatever you want to write you can get, uh, write anything returns the promise snip so if i save it now and go back to my index file and here if i start typing pro you will see a code hint uh, is returned here and you can see the description here return the promise so if i click this this code snippet is inserted here and by default you can see my cursor automatically pointed at the dollar one here 
So this is how you can use your own snippets. So if you want to define your other snippets in the same file, you can just come here and use a comma here and specify another object. So I'll just copy this object again and paste it here and change the content actually here because the name cannot be same. So I'll just change the name. So the snip I want to use here is now for the fetch API. So fetch API is basically used to call the API. We will learn more about the fetch API in the future video. But basically, if you are aware about the API, the fetch API helps us to call any specific API and grab the data from there. So we want to use it for a JavaScript and the snip uh, we want to prefix basically when we start with the API, this should this code should come up and in the body we want to use uh, some code. So what I will do, I'll just go to our back to our code here. I'll, I'll type some code here and then copy this code to the body here because it's easy to type this code here, the fetch and the fetch takes the first argument as the URL and then it returns a promise. So promise also returns uh, basically a data or response from the server. So response from the server is containing a lots of thing, but we want to grab the JSON object from that response. So we can do response.json and this will again return a promise to us and then we can use then and in this promise basically or all of the code from the API or all of the response from the API will be returned. So I'll call it response here and basically you can just define this function here. So once the API has returned something, this function will execute. And in this function, I just want to log to the console, whatever the response from the API is. And this also, if there is any error or while connecting to the API or from returning the data to the API, we can catch all these error here. And here it will also take the callback function. This is the error will be returned here. And I can just create the body here and then log the error to the console here. So basically uh, when we have saved this code, like it's giving error because this is not actually the code to use. So I'll just cut the code from here and go to a snippet and the paste the code here. So actually we need to write the string in a single line. So I'll just zoom it out and uh, write this whole snippet into a single line now. So yeah, I have written the whole snippet in a single line and in the description returns the API snip, I'll call it or returns the fetch API snip. If I save it now and go to our code, if I now start typing API here, you will see this code hint return the fetch API. If I click this, this whole code is actually auto imported here. So you see the whole code snippet is imported here, but our main function resides in this function here. So I'll just hit enter here because this function will be executed after the API call is made. So for this tutorial, I'm just calling a open source API, which returns the list of countries names basically. So I will just pass the URL here and save the program. And you see in the console, if there is a long, API response which is just containing a list of the names of different countries basically so you can see basically the response from the API is an array each item in an array is a kind of object that is containing a name property so if we come here and use the for each loop here response dot for each and it receives a callback function for each item basically so I'll call it item and it receives a callback function. So I'll define the body of the callback function. And in the body of the callback function, I want to log to the console, basically the name of that particular country. So console.log item.name and uh, remove the above main response. And if I save it the code and you will see in the output, yeah, you can see there's a like all the list of the country's names are basically printed to the console. So yeah, this is how you can use your user snippets code to import some data. And uh, this is just a quick introduction to fetch API. We'll see this fetch API in the details in the future video. But for the sake of simplicity for this tutorial, uh, this seems to be enough. And uh, 
and if you have any issue with the program just let me know in the comments and i'm just trying to get slowed on in my videos but i'm quite uh, habitual to like be quite quick uh, so i hope uh, i'll improve in the future so meanwhile just take care and see you soon